Hi, I'm Jim Brickle, and this is the 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning in the Lariat trim. So, this is an orientation video to help people get familiar with where all the controls are located. We're starting on the left, right on the driver door. You've got seating positions 1, 2, and 3, and that is where you lock in with the memory sets. Once you've used the power controls on the left-hand side of the chair, you'll push button 1, hold it until you get the beep, and that'll lock it in for the first and primary driver. Follow up the same procedure for uh, the second and third um, drivers. Down here we have our power outside mirrors. The bottom two switches control which mirror, the arrows which way you want them to move, and if you want to fold them in, push the one in the upper left. That'll fold your mirror in, push it again, and fold them back out. To the left of the steering column, you can turn on the outside lights. We also have a release for the power front trunk, otherwise known as a frunk. So you push the button, gives a warning. There it goes up. You can load your groceries in or whatever you might be picking up at the store. Once loaded, hit the button again. We can also open the tailgate on the truck from right here. Down below, we have our headlamps. They're in the A for the automatic position, the panel dim switch, and you can even move the pedals to adjust to the size of your legs. On the steering column, activate cruise control. It's adaptive cruise control, so you can set the number of car lengths to stay behind the vehicle in front of you. As you're pushing that button, it changes the display up here. I'll stay closer. With adaptive cruise control, you set the speed and the distance to stay behind the vehicle in front of you. If the person in front slows down, your vehicle will automatically slow down as well. The other important thing we have here is a lane keeping. So when activated, you would push that button and it'll say lane keeping system on. Something to be aware of, when the lane keeping system is on, if you're driving across the dotted lines, the steering wheel will start vibrating. It's giving you an indication that uh, you're heading out of your lane. So, to make sure that you're not coming to the service department, needlessly, double check if you've accidentally turned that on. Many people, while their hand is on the steering column, can easily hit that control. Down below, we have our voice activation. We have the stereo volume up, stereo volume down. On the right-hand side of the steering column, we have our menu, the OK, up and down, and back. So, when we hit menu, goes to our main display. Under my view, we, we can go back and hit the OK. Press OK to add or remove screens. So you can customize it with a comm screen, trip one, trip two, this trip, tire pressure, seat belts, who's wearing them, pitch and roll, power distribution. So you can pick and choose the screens that are going to be on for you. When we go down, you can see the trip display. Trip one, trip two, this trip. Go down again, you've got your truck information, driver assistance, towing, navigation, phone, audio, and settings. So if you prefer your speedometer to be showing in miles per hour, that's where to activate it. Now, we also have the phone pick up and hang up and seek to the next station on the audio. In the center of the vehicle, we've got the nice big screen. We can go to our home screen, 
That'll give us choices on the apps and entertainment, whether it be radio, phone, navigation, media. Vehicle is equipped for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Charging. The owner's manual is even built right into the vehicle. Go to the next screen over, we've got our controls. Now, with the driver, drive modes, you've got normal, sport, tow haul, and off-road. Sound, where, where the air, where the sound is coming, do you want it uh, equal for all, do you want it front and back and whatnot. Your phone list, it's very easy to add a phone, you would hit add phone, go to your device, uh, turn Bluetooth on and follow the instructions. Driver assistance. There's a whole host of them on here. Auto hold. When activated, when you put your, the, your foot on the brakes, it'll hold the brakes until you touch the accelerator pedal. So if you're in stop and go driving, it seems like you're doing more stopping than going, you can have it automatically hold the brakes, move your foot around a little bit while you're uh, to avoid cramping and whatnot. Your cruise control. Right now we've got it set for adaptive cruise control. We've got a speed limit assistance. You want a warning if you start going over your speed limit. Lane keeping, as we mentioned previously, the mode is on alert and intensity is normal. We've got things like pre-collision assist, rear view camera delay, blind spot information system. If you're not sure what any of these are, we have the little I over here, which is information. So pre-collision assist provides a forward collision warning. If you do not respond in time, the system can automatically apply the brakes. Park aid sensors, cross traffic alert, driver alert. So there's a variety of things in here. The vehicle is going to help keep you safe and keep you going in the direction you're supposed to be going and give you plenty of warnings if anything's going wrong. When we go for vehicle, vehicle power down timer, rear occupant alert. You want to be reminded to check for people in the back seat before you get out of the vehicle. Easy entry and exit. The seat adjustment when turned in the on position here. When you open the door initially, the seat will go back. Once you get in and start the vehicle, the chair will move up to your preset position. So it's, as the feature is called, easy entry and exit. My key, you can program one of your key fobs. That'll be active for a beginner driver. It can limit top end speed and stereo volume, among other items. Remote start setup. So, remote start. Do you want the climate controls going automatic? Do you want the seats to come on? How long do you want the vehicle to run for? Wipers. Percy wipe. Power tailgate. You've got it on power, or you can have it to manual. Lighting. Glare-free lighting, welcome lighting, automatic delay, and how long you want the lights to stay on. Your locks. Auto unlock. So when you stop the vehicle and turn off the engine, the doors will automatically unlock. Miss lock chirp. It'll make a noise if the doors do not lock. Your mirrors. This is a handy feature. Auto fold. So when you shut off the vehicle and get out, the mirrors will automatically fold in. Makes less likely for someone to bang into them uh, while your vehicle is parked. Low battery. It'll let you know if you, your batteries and your fobs are low. EV driving history. Press and hold for reset.
under general, that's where you can choose your, your language for English, French, or Spanish, your temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit, weights in pounds or uh, kilograms, measurements, tire pressure in pounds per square inch. If you like it to beep every time you're touching things. And a little lower down, we've got a reset. So when you sell the vehicle, you trade it in, whatever, you can hit a reset, wipe out all your personal settings. That would be your navigation settings, your phone settings, all the personal settings. Under the heading of connectivity, it's connected vehicle features, Bluetooth, wireless app, manage your Wi-Fi networks, set it up as a vehicle hotspot, manage your devices, And under software updates, so you can set up for automatic updates. And certain things can be done over the air. Recurring update schedule, no schedule is currently set. You can set one, you can customize it, update details. So, no updates available at this time for your vehicle. If there was an update needed, it would give you the details at that point. Ford Assistant. You can set up a wake word. So, you can activate things just by your voice. Advanced mode, phone confirmation, voice command list. zone lighting. You can turn on the outside lights from here in the driver's seat and then a valet mode. That uh, means you can temporarily lock out your uh, navigation and phone features. So if you're going to a place with valet parking, they only have access to your vehicle, not your personal information, your phone or anything else. Sorry about that. Under entertainment, we've got some games you can play while the vehicle isn't in the park position. Down below, your temperature. Air conditioning, whether it's on or off. Heated seats. Cooling seats. Max defrost, your four-way flashers, P is for parking, so there's you can navigate to parking, parking sensors, you can turn them off if you've got a trailer hooked up, otherwise the vehicle is going to be screaming at you while you're trying to back up with a trailer. And this one is the off for your uh, traction control system. Your steering, your shifter, and you fold it in. And it can be opened up as an internal work surface when you're in a parked position. Use it for your lunch or whatever. Shift her back up. We have a button here that gives you the top storage bin and then your regular glove box. Power points. Up top, you've got your lights. and the sliding rear window. So this has been an orientation for your new Lightning. Hope you'll enjoy the ride.